Hi, I'm just going to give you a quick example of copying some surface geometry from one part to another. And um, you can see here I've just got a couple of parts. Uh, I've got a cutter part that we want to copy. It's just a piece of armature kind of geometry. Made it up there. It's not really re representing anything. Uh, I've got a housing part, and this is the part I want to copy the geometry to. So well, I want to take it from the cutter to the housing, and I want to delete the cutter part afterwards. So what I can do is I can go straight at the moment in the assembly to the housing part, right click on it and activate it. And you can see here I've got my housing part activated. And what I simply want to do is I want to copy this surface geometry to that part. So I can come down to my uh, selection filter down here and go to geometry. Now I can select the surface, one surface there and simply do control C, control V. And you'll see here I've got copy paste surface. Now references and uh, details. Um, you can see here I've got one surface of the boundary blend in there. Now if I click add and select a anchor and anchor item, the top one there, and I can select this little option here, all solid surfaces. You see it's all turned yellow. Now I click OK there. Come to references, you see I've got this individual surface here, just remove that one. And you see I'm just left with all my solid surfaces. So complete that. And I've now got a green surface, which means it's part of my housing. So open it up. And you can see here I've got the copy surface in my housing. Now you can create a cut straight from that, but what I like to do is just take a wee copy of the quilt of the surface just to give me a little layer of protection against any changes in geometry or things going wrong. So I just control C, control V again on the surface geometry, hit return. Um, I can hide off the original one uh, or put it on another layer, or whatever your preferences and I can select this new geometry now and simply go to my solidify in my solidify command you'll see there's a wee option here to remove the material I can select that uh, you see you've got an option to flip the arrow I can keep what's in there what's in the inside or I can flip it to the other side whichever, whichever you're looking for and you can see now I've got a representation of that solid surface geometry and uh, some quite curvy complicated surfaces but very easy to copy that in so I'm gonna save that part now and then I'm gonna go back into my assembly and I'm gonna delete the cutter part so you can see here it's got options uh, for deleting this is local nothing there but external I can see there's one copy so I'm just gonna cancel that and click OK now I've deleted it off and it's still here okay I hit regenerate it's still regenerating we go into the housing part and I even roll it back up and roll it down again it's still regenerating it's still pulling it all together even though the, the master geometry is gone now if I go into this one here and go edit definition you can see this is fine it's got references it's got us it's got a quilt that it's looking for um, which is this one here okay um, if I actually went into this the original copy edit definition I can see the little red dot means the references are missing. And if we go to details, solid surfaces, model's not there. Doesn't know what to look for. But I can still just cancel that off and it's still all there. So that's it. Nice and quick and easy.